Hi, my name is Jervin Justin. I'm the product manager for NI Testend as well as the ATML Toolkit. What I'm going to be showing here today is a demonstration of Testin and the ATML Toolkit uh, and how that can help test engineers today. Uh, before we jump into the demo, I want to give you a very quick overview of what ATML is in case you haven't used it before. ATML is an IEEE standard. It's a, it's a standardized way of describing your test systems and everything about your test systems, starting from the tests that you're running to the instruments that you have in your test system and even the results that you generate from running a particular test. Uh, the benefit of the ATML standard is that it's a standardized way of uh, sharing information. So a company uh, can write their test descriptions uh, in, an, in this XML-based schema and give it to another company or, or, or a different part of their organization and they all agree on exactly what it means. So it really helps out with the information exchange as well as with hardware, hardware obsolescence in the future. So if you have test systems that are going to run for 50 years, you, you have this standardized document that explains everything about your test system so you know exactly what went into it and you can swap things in and out as you need to. So what we've done for the HTML uh, integration is that we've built the HTML toolkit as a translator to take an HTML test description document, this is an XML based document, and auto-generate a test and sequence from that document as well as code modules in either CVI or lab window CVI, uh, sorry, in either lab into CVI or in LabVIEW, depending on which uh, development environment you want to use. So let me, with that, let me jump into the demo really quick over here. So what I have on the screen right now is a screenshot of the of a particular HTML document, uh, just doing a couple of different tests. I've kind of highlighted them on the right. It's not too important. We're not going to get into the details of the actual test. But it's an XML-based document that's all there is to it. Uh, if I were to open this in NI test stand, just doing a regular file open, uh, what would happen is testend with the HTML toolkit will translate that into a test end sequence and automatically generate shell code in, in, this, in this case in LabVIEW. So on the left over here, I have a test end sequence with four different steps that it auto generated from my XML uh, file. If I click on any of those steps, you can, on the right side, you can see the LabVIEW code. It's got the connectors already built into it, so it's already done the integration portion. Your test engineer just needs to come in at this point and uh, do the actual implementation of the individual, uh, of the individual tests. Uh, as a further benefit, what we've done is, as part of that translation layer, we've uh, made it possible for you to uh, include your own plugins. We call them custom code generators to add more logic to the translation, so instead of getting these skeleton code uh, code modules, you can generate fully functioning uh, fully functioning test and TPSs uh, by opening up this XML file in test and. And so that's what we're showing over here. It takes a little while longer because it's got that custom code generation logic behind it. But if I were to look at the code for the Lab EVIs now, it might be a little small to see in this video. But now we have full logic built into those Lab EVIs, and they're ready to run. So if I click on the Execute Test and Sequence button, we get into the actual execution, and you can see uh, this TPS actually running without me having to do any programming as a test engineer. All I did was I took that test description document and imported it into Test Stand. Uh, it's going to take a little while to run because it's talking to our hardware right now. Uh, and as it's running, I'm going to quickly talk about on the other end of the, uh, of the test system, we have the test results. So as built into TestEnd, we have the ability to generate test reports in a variety of different formats, XML, HTML, ASCII text, and we can also generate uh, test reports in the HTML test results format. So that's what we're looking at over here on the right. It's, an, it's, a, it's a standard TestEnd report in the HTML format, uh, fully compliant with the HTML test results schemas. So on the front end, we can take test description documents and convert it to test end sequences. And as we execute those sequences, we can generate results in the HTML test result format. So that's it for my demo. Thanks a lot.